after the tide goes out, this is the most dangerous situation. If you're not careful, it might get snatched away by a seabird. If it's uh, round like this, it's a female crab. If it's uh, triangular, it's a male crab. This one doesn't have much energy either. And this is the red claw crab. It looks like it's been stranded for quite a while. It's pretty plump. Let's take it with us. Nowadays, even mussels this big are unwanted. This one's quite a size. When mussels grow this big, some of them might be empty inside. So you need to sort through them at home. But most of them are edible. Lately, I've been eating mussels all the time. And honestly, I'm getting tired of them. If you leave them in the water, they're fine. But if you leave them on the beach, they'll just dry out and go bad. Why is this one so fat? There's a King Razor clan living in here. But why is its breathing hole so thin? Let's get a few more. It's stuck. If it realizes what's happening now, it'll just run away immediately. This one is still the kind that goes straight up and down. I feel like it's about to react. I need to dig it out. Hey, I got it. It almost got away from me. Look, the breathing hole is so big, but the King Razor clam living inside isn't actually that big. Sometimes you can't judge the size of the King Razor clam inside just by looking at the breathing hole. As for this hole, after the tide rises, it'll be smoothed out. A lot of friends worry about these pit's flower urchin crabs that burrow in the sand near the tide line. Always make empty burrows. Once the tide comes in, they wash right out since they're so close to the water. Put it in the water. This octopus is so close to the tide. Isn't that silly? If you crawled a bit further into the water, I wouldn't have been able to spot you. Maybe play in the water for a bit. It didn't even get a chance to stay in the water. Ah, what's this? This leg is even broken. Hey, don't run away. I just wanted you to have a drink in the water. We told you to run off. This flounder is still alive. And there isn't a bit of sand on it in this water. I just found it. And look, it's burrowing into the sand again. But honestly, there's not much difference whether it burrows or not. A flounder that can grow as big as my hands considered larger, it's pretty rare. Let's let it burrow one more time. It's still quite lively. Luckily, it's in the water reef. It was stranded. It will basically be done for. Let's take this one with us, since it's so big. This kind of kelp gets ruined if it's left out in the sun for a while after being washed ashore. It's already turning green on top. And once it gets this green, you can't eat it anymore. There's a lot of it along the shore now. But this isn't even a whole piece half of it is missing. This is just one half. The other half is already gone. Even so, you can still make a small bowl of salad with this. This cat's ice snail is actually pretty standard too. It was just washed out by the tide. Let's give it a rinse. There's even a crab inside this guy. A crab moved in next to it. I'll squeeze it out first. You think it eats crabs? Look, another swimming crab got dug out along with it. Don't go just yet. Let me take a look at you. It's uh, another female crab, so small in size. These little ones are considered inferior catch. This cat's eye snail is impressive. It's actually hugging a crab together. 